Okay, we have enabled and configured the management interfaces on the router, the local access and the remote access. The console port has a password and is active. The um, remote access port, the Ethernet port, or uh, the virtual terminal interfaces, line VTY, is enabled and configured, and we can telnet into the router. We're going to save SSH for another video series. Um, so we have remote access here with line VTY, virtual terminal, and we have local access here with the console port, and we have passwords on them, and we've encrypted them. And there was, um, we'll just take a look at the configuration file here. I'm going to put in the password, and then I'm going to type enable, put in the password again. Whoops. Okay, and now I'm in, and then we'll take a look at the running configuration file and you can see that the enable password for to get to privileged mode is been encrypted with MD5 encryption and we did service password encryption command uh, service space password dash encryption command to do a type 7 password encryption on line console 0 on the login screen and also on the virtual terminal interfaces we also have that level 7 encryption now if we want to take this farther, I'm going to close the command line interface here. If we want to take this farther to a higher level of security, we want to implement what's called AAA security. And we want to account for authentication, how we authenticate to the router, authorization, what kind of privilege levels we have when we authenticate into the router, and also a method for accounting to keep a uh, record to keep track of who's logging into the router, who's managing the router, and what exactly exactly is happening. Now the best way to do this, to implement uh, AAA security, is to uh, do it with a AAA server, like a RADIUS server here, or maybe even like a TACAX server, and um, that would be the best way to do it. But you can start to implement AAA security and take greater control over authentication, authorization privilege levels and accounting just by b using the built-in tools on the router using the router's built-in database to um, start configuring some of these attributes and it's also a very good fallback way of setting up access to your router even if you have a radius or a TACAC server so it's recommended to do that anyway so we're going to take this to the next level now so to do that, what we're going to do is, we'll, once again, we're going to console into the router, let's say, but I'm actually just, for the video's sake, going to use this command line interface. Now, I'm in the router, and I'm going to do a conf t, which is short for configure terminal, and I'll go to line console 0, okay, and I'll say no login, right? So I just removed logging in directly into the console port on the router. Now, let's put in the term login and then put a question mark. After the term login, um, the command login, we put a question mark to see what other commands can be implemented after the login command. And you can see there's two. One is called authentication. You can see it says authenticate using a AAA method list, right? Which is what we just said, AAA security or there's local and that's local password checking to the local database and that's what we're going to use now so we'll say login local okay so now we've set the console port for um, login local database access now what we want to do is I'm going to type end we can start setting up users and uh, usernames and passwords so we can individualize authenticate authenticating to our router no more global one password lets all users into the router. So I'll do a configure, configure tab, T E R tab, configure terminal to get to global config mode. And now what I'm going to do is, let me stretch this out a little bit, I'll say username Dan, and I could say password Cisco. All right, so this will set up a user named Dan and give me a password um, of Cisco. Now, let's take a look at some of the options. After I put in username Dan, I'll put a question mark, and you can see I can set password directly. I could set a privilege level, set a user privilege level, which I'll talk about in a minute, or I could set a secret passer and a secret for the user, and that's going to be 
encrypted with a higher level of um, security. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say secret. Right, we've already talked about wanting to use encryption, so I might as well skip just the password command and go straight to the secret command, right? So I'll type in secret, and I'm just going to use Cisco, once again, a, a very poor choice in password. Ideally, for your password, you want to use uh, letters, special characters, numbers, and capital letters. The longer the password, the best, the better, and even possibly using a password phrase instead of just an 8 or 9 or 10 character password. So username, uh, Dan, secret Cisco, and, uh, but for this case, this will help speed up the process. We'll hit enter. So now, I'll do a control C to go out to privileged mode and a show run which is short for show running config and you can see here let's see here uh, there it is I'm hitting the spacebar to tab through my configuration you can see that now we have a username Dan with a secret password and notice that my secret password has the MD5 encryption right and that is so important right now also if we go down to line console 0 you'll see that line console 0 we're going to need to get rid of this password here and so that we just have the login local so that's what I'm going to do next so I'll do a conf t and I'll say um, line console 0 no password that looks good I'll type end I'll do a show run and now we've got my username here, tab on the space bar, the space bar, and you can see lot, line console zero now has login local. It no longer has just a general password for all users. So let's see if this will work. So we'll type exit to exit the router. Now it's like we just connected on the console port. We hit enter, and you can see here it's asking now for my username, not my password. So I type down, enter password Cisco and now I'm into the router I can type enable and I still need to use the enable password that I set up which was Cisco 1234 and I'm in but now I've got MD5 encryption for my login screen right for console login and I've got MD5 encryption for my enable uh, privileged mode uh, access so that we've just enhanced security greatly on the router by using a the database built into the router for username specific username and password access now we can set up administrators on the router that have different levels of access or different levels of authorization right so the authentication is a lot higher and now we can set up different administrators that have different levels of authorization to use different types of commands and get into different places in the router